Thank you guys for coming out to the Zoom chat yesterday. Hopefully that was something that was helpful for everyone and you were able to get a lot of data for your uh, survey project. So you've done a lot of the uh, data collecting work at this point. And now what you're gonna be doing is you are going to actually show me what you have learned. What are your conclusions? What does the data tell me? So you're gonna draw two graphs and you're gonna to have today and tomorrow to work on this and to work on making it very nice. You're gonna have your bar graph, which has bars to show the data. And then you're gonna have a pictograph and the pictograph will use some sort of pictures to show the data. Try to choose a picture that makes sense for what your question was. If you asked about fruits, maybe you'll draw some kind of a fruit. If you asked about sports, maybe you'll use a basketball. If you asked about, oh, I don't know, your favorite vegetable, maybe you'll use onions. I don't know, something like that. Your job is to make uh, the pictograph, make it make sense. Well, that didn't make sense. <laughs> Your pictograph picture should have something to do with what your question is, but don't get super complicated, okay? You don't want to be drawing little horses all over the place. That would be a lot of work. You want it to be a simple drawing that you can draw over and over. All right, so here are the things you definitely need to have on your graphs. Number one, use a ruler. You need to use a ruler. So you're gonna have your line going down and your line across, okay? Draw them with a ruler. If you don't have a ruler at your house, I'm sure you have books and straight edges that you can use as a ruler, okay? So for both graphs, you're gonna do that. Then you're also gonna make sure that both of your graphs have a title, okay? You can show me all sorts of different fruits all over the graph, but unless there's a title, I'm gonna wonder, okay, is this showing me the favorite fruits of people? Is it showing me the least favorite fruits of people? Is it showing me the kind of fruits I like to throw at Mrs. Wyant during math class? I don't know, there was no title to explain that to me. So you need to have a title on both of your graphs to explain what your graph is about. On both graphs, you're gonna to need to, sorry, not on both graphs, on your bar graph, you're gonna to need to have numbers along the side. You can put them at the bottom. We usually put them on the vertical axis. That just sort of makes more sense to most of us. Depending on what kind of numbers you have for your data, you may need to use a scale and go up by twos or go up by fours. So look at your numbers and figure out what you should go up by. On your pictograph, you will need a scale as well. Even if one picture is equal to one person, you still need to tell me that, okay? More likely, you're gonna have one picture is worth two or three, depending on what your numbers look like. All right, you will also need to have labels on your pictograph and your bar graph. So on the bar graph, probably at the bottom, you'll have like, okay, apple, banana, kiwi, strawberry, other. There are my things, and then I have the bars coming up from them. Those labels are very important. Same with the pictograph. If you are drawing a whole bunch of pictures going up, I need to see apple, banana, kiwi, I don't remember which ones I used before, strawberry. So they need to be labeled very clearly. Finally, this needs to be neat and tidy. This is not something you're gonna rush through. This is something that you're going to take time with and you're going to color nicely. If it's messy, even though you have put it in a graph, which should be an easy thing for me to understand, if it's messy, I won't be able to understand it. And that defeats the purpose of having a graph in the first place. So make it neat and careful. You will have today and tomorrow to work on this. And then you'll hand it in when you're finished, maybe at the end of the day, Friday or sometime over the weekend. I would like you to hand it in by Monday but if that is not working for you and you need a couple extra days, that's, that's fine, okay? So this is your survey project. Oh, because you're doing this project, I'm not gonna make you do a test, okay? <laughs> it's pretty exciting. So you are gonna get to, yeah, do this project. This project will show me whether or not you understand what we've been working on, and then no test. Awesome.
Well, I know it's only Thursday, but have a good weekend because we won't have a movie tomorrow. Tomorrow is a work period for you. I will see you on Monday. Bye.